Well, hey again, everyone. I am Roger. I am coming to you from Brickhouse Guitars in Kitchener, Ontario, in our brand new upstairs gallery. And boy, I am so delighted today to present this new arrival to you. Um, about three weeks ago now, we were in Wakefield, Quebec at a guitar show. And a lot of our friends were there, but I love these guitar shows because it's a chance for us to make new friends and meet new luthiers. And in this case, we met this builder, Theo Kazurian, uh, who comes from Montreal, originally from France. We met him for the first time at this show. And he had just, just completed this particular guitar in time for the show. Um, it didn't take long for us to fall in love with it. It's just a remarkable guitar, remarkable guitar um, with a very unique uh, voice. I, I love it when luthiers kind of find their own way and make something that's truly sort of unique and interesting. So this is a little guitar uh, that he calls his Gypsy Parlor Double O. So it's definitely a small guitar. There's a 13 fret neck joint. So, and it's a shorter scale, um, like a medium scale. It's a 25 inch length. So all of those features make for an incredibly small, comfortable, just really pleasing parlor size guitar. Um, so you think with a smaller guitar, it might be a little subdued. Boy, you just pick it up and play it for a second and it gets you at hello. Um, the sound is just so uh, full and incredible. Um, so before I start showing you uh, what I'm experiencing sound-wise on this instrument, um, I had the chance to uh, remotely uh, meet with, uh, with Teo this morning and uh, I got him to kind of introduce himself and introduce the guitar and describe it for us. So let's do that first, then I'll come back and I will noodle a bit on the guitar, explain some of the things that really fascinate me about this instrument, and then do my standard demo. Well, hello uh, there. Um, I'm so glad that you could join us. I am here with Theo Kazurian from Montreal and uh, luthier extraordinaire and uh, and i have this uh, beautiful guitar here that i would like you to first of all introduce yourself and then the guitar so first why don't you just tell us a little bit about yourself thank you roger hi everyone uh, my name is theo kazurian i'm a guitar maker located in montreal canada uh, i'm french of origin and I came in, uh, in uh, Quebec, in the beautiful Quebec County, to learn guitar making a decade ago. And I'm now established in the center of uh, Montreal, making my own uh, acoustic steel string guitars in my studio in the Plateau Mont Royal neighborhood. So I'm really happy to be with you today. Wonderful. Well, the Plateau is a beautiful part of Montreal. You're very yeah. fortunate to, 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 to be there. Um, and also, uh, when we, we met for the first time in Wakefield just a few weeks ago, um, and uh, this is guitar number 38 for you, but um, you've also gained experience by teaching, from my understand, at the very school that you were a student at. Yes, I do. Uh, I've graduated from the Bruant School that's located on the south shore of uh, Montreal a uh, few few years ago now and uh, i'm fortunate enough today to to be one of their uh, teachers also to pass out my all my savoir faire and uh, knowledge to the new community of uh, future guitar builders so i'm really proud of that and uh, yeah i'm able to also to teach during the the weekdays and also to be on my studio to building custom guitars so that's yeah wonderful I'm fortunate enough. well well, it's an amazing way to learn, you know, being able to teach. We, we learn so much by teaching, you know. Exactly. Um, That's very and, surprising. Uh, yes, yes. It's a great way for a luthier to gain that added experience, you know. Um, so uh, your experience is clearly showing through in this instrument. Um, we fell in love with it. Um, it's a small body guitar. You call it the Gypsy Parlor Double O. And I'm finding that this guitar is a bit of a chameleon. It can do all kinds of things, but I want you to tell us about it. Uh, maybe just an overview, and then we'll, I'll get you to describe some of the features on it. Sure. So my double zero model, that's in the Parlor family. Double zero means 
it's a 14 inches uh, lower boot width. And the why I, I call this guitar the Gypsy Parlor is because I've, I've chosen to use some aesthetic appointments of the early French jazz guitars from 1930s. The headstock is slotted like the famous uh, Macafari Manouche guitars. And I've got a cutaway, which is a, a 90 degrees cutaway. <laughs> Can remind us of there's jazz guitars at the time. And the rest of the instrument is very, is, I'm thinking about a modern steel string acoustic guitar. So it's voiced like a flat top acoustic guitar for flat picking, finger style, mm. even some, some jazz, jazz chords and licks. It can do it all. I'll, I'm going to try and demonstrate as much of that as I can in my, my video demo of it, but I can't believe how versatile and how powerful our articulate, the overtones are incredible. Anyway, more on that later. Let's talk about some of the features. Let's start with the headstock here. Um, this is your logo. And very quickly, tell yeah. us a bit about your logo. That's my logo. I've chosen to use that, uh, that simple logo, which is essentially two two circles, uh, which are representing for me, uh, my inspiration came from the ancient Egyptian jewelry, uh, which as I was studying uh, while uh, I was in school, studying art and craft. So that was my main, my main inspiration for that. And you can find it, my logo and my rosette, which the two eccentric cycles too. You can see that. His rosette is made of uh, maple, spalted maple, to be exact. I love to let the wood talk by itself. I love uh, people who can just see all the nature made, uh, the, the, mm. those perfect pieces of wood. So, uh, yes, nature is amazing. Yeah. <laughs> so back to the tuners here. The tuners here are shuttlers. Shetler, that's a very nice company, which is located in Switzerland, Swiss made, very, very accurate tuning. The knobs are made uh, of ebony and we have like metal and copper to, uh, to enhance mm. the set. And then, and then your face plate and back plate, they match? Face plate and back plates are matching. They are matching the, the back and side too. They are made out of Ziricoli. Two nice plates of Ziricoli. And the rest of the neck, uh, it's uh, Brazilian mahogany with, um, with an ebony, ebony fingerboard from Africa. That's African ebony, genuine African ebony. Yeah. And the neck and is dyed oil. in black. Yeah. And finished with oil. And the finish is oil. That's a hand run, right. all natural, all finish. Excellent. So here we get to the back and sides. There's a sound port. There's a sound port, which is very enjoyable for the player. And the mm -hmm. audience, because the, the sound inside the box of the guitar is moving very differently with uh, those kind of sound ports. Mine are a little bit oversized. I like that because it's very, very nice to play a guitar with uh, that kind of mm -hmm. oversized sound port. The top is made of redwood, a very straight and tight grain redwood. That's a unique piece of redwood, I must say. Mm -hmm. it, it sounds amazing, and the overtones yeah, the, again, incredible. Exactly. Exactly. And the bridge is ebony. The bridge is ebony, African too. You can see the beautiful bridge pins and uh, the saddles are made out of bone, hand polished. Very nicely shiny. Yeah, those important. those bridge pins are beautiful. Yeah, they are. They are made by the, the Waverly firm. So that's a well-known okay. company for making guitar parts. Mm. And the let's have a side. quick look at the. Yeah. Look at that, eh? Wow. That's a pretty yeah. like uh, wonderful one. You can see the beautiful Ziricoli back, and in the center we we can we can see the sapwood. Which is very, very nice draws to the wood and the end graft. Yeah. 
Beautiful. All right. Well, it sounds like you've got company in the shop there, so <laughs> um, no worries. We've covered the guitar. Uh, I am looking forward to uh, continuing on with my, my video demo of it and uh, showing it off. But I really do appreciate your time today to, to speak with me and, and, our, and our, uh, our audience and, tell, and be able to just share this magnificent guitar with us. So thank you so much Thanks for your time. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Have a take good care. Day. Bye bye. Okay. So where do I dive in? Well, you know, this guitar is a bit of a chameleon. It can be all kinds of things, even though it's small. It, you could flat pick with it. You could uh, singer songwriter. It's got a nice little round neck and, and, and comfort size. Uh, it, it would make a beautiful sort of traditional singer songwriter guitar. But what a finger style guitar this is. Um, let me just start with some very light um, uh, sort of finger picking here and try to bring out what I think the most fascinating aspect of this guitar to me is how much sympathetic resonance is going on and overtones um, and how sweet they are. Uh, the redwood top, of course, adds to that. Um, the zero Cody back and sides, all of that makes just for an incredible smooth, polished. Let me pull in here just a bit. Let me just try to carefully pull that out. on this even gypsy jazz the way it looks <laughs> so what an incredible guitar we're so delighted to have uh, made friends with with Teo and have brought this guitar back uh, it is available you can please contact us if you're interested uh, I'm gonna put on my thumb pick here and do my standard demo for you but I thank you so much for watching
Yes, sir. Another amazing guitar. Thank you so much for watching. Cheers.